My name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for Monday the 6th of November. So today I'm going to play with um, a new online exclusive that's coming tomorrow, Tuesday the 7th. Um, it's called Meandering Meadow. I have played with it once before in a Makeup Monday and made some cards but I thought I'd have another little play and do something a little bit different um, use a different window <laughs> to see the, the beautiful DSP. So let's go over to my craft desk and I'll make sure I'm recording. It looks like I am. Yes, that's different. Okay, let's go down to the craft desk. Okay, so this is my host code for November. If you want to um, place an order with me, I'd really appreciate it. That would be great. You just have to go to my blog, stampingpassion.blogspot.com. Over on the right-hand side, there's an image with um, the November host code in it. And actually, that image had a moustache in it with flowers. And I use that image because it's Movember. Here in Australia, we do a fundraising for men's health and cancer. And it's called Movember. So you have to grow a moustache for the month of, Mo of November. And my husband's been doing that for many years, probably about 10 years now. He used to always have a moustache. And he was sort of known for his moustache. And it must be about 10 years because it was when our children, kids were still at home, living at home. One day he came downstairs and he'd shaved it off. And they nearly died. <laughs> so every November he grows his moustache again for, uh, to raise money for Movember. So if you'd like to donate to him, that would be great. Let me know and I can send you the link. <clears throat> so that's why I've used the image I have on my blog with the moustache in it. <clears throat> and also, so you can click on that image and go. it takes you straight to my online store with Stamping Up. It attaches the host code auto automatically and then you can just go shopping and see all the online exclusives that will be available tomorrow, Tuesday the 7th of November. Um... By attach attaching the host code, it just helps me um, get some host rewards at the end of each month to buy little gifts for customers who place orders with me. So that's why I appreciate it if you can attach the host code. So that's all the business side of things. <laughs> so this is the one I played with <clears throat> the other day. Um, just going to have a sip of water. <clears throat> Never ceases to amaze me how as soon as I start a video I get <coughs> in my throat um, so yeah so this is one I made on the weekend and I've used the dye I really love this dye and it's in the um, hello irresistible suite do you remember this one this was an online exclusive and I think it was in the very first lot of online exclusives that they put, brought out um, yeah, and this is the die, and there was another gorgeous one that went sort of down the side of a card. And I thought, you know, this paper is so nice, I could use a different kind of window. This is the bundle here. And this is the window. This is what I used in a previous card I made. Um, and it's beautiful, I love it. But I was just thinking, I wonder if I've got something else I could use as a window. Now, you could always just use a square or a circle. That would work as well. But this one's a little bit fancy and I really liked it. So this is what you get in the Meandering Meadow Bundle. Let me show you. You get this stamp set and the dies. If you can see the dies here. And the stamp set... I've yet to make one with the wheelbarrow. I really like the wheelbarrow. It's bigger than what's on the front. Um, so there are all the dies. You get this beautiful ribbon. Um, it's like vanilla with pecan pie running through it, stitched through it. It's really nice. Um, and you get these gold adhesive birds and dragonflies so they're a little bit like the brushed brass butterflies that are in the annual catalogue and they're really cute and they're quite flat so they're not going to make your card too um, raised up if you wanted to mail your card 
and then you've got this beautiful paper <laughs> I did show it in my previous video it's just the most beautiful paper with all these beautiful scenes just stunning oops and the backs are just nice as well and quite sort of neutral you could use for anything oh I wonder if I could use that one that one looks a nice one <laughs> so on my sample card I've used the um, time-worn type embossing folder on it which is one of my favorites my all-time favorites it just seems to work with everything but this time I thought I'd use where is it I put it somewhere I put something on top of it I thought I'd use the distressed tile 3d embossing folder um, I think that's in the mini catalog let me double check I think it is because it took me a while to get it let me just quickly have a look yes and I should highlight it so I know that I have it so it's in the mini catalog this distress tile embossing folder so I thought I'd use that this time round and I thought I'd use my different die to make the window because it's just a bit different now I'm just trying to work out this is the problem so this might not be the best one unless I went this way I could go that way yes because I don't I want to try and minimize the wastage on my designer series paper so it might not be the best one to use so I'll have to have a little think about that how about we cut our, our die out and then we can work it out. So I've got my A5 thick basic white cardstock. I've used um, oops, it's one of the ink colours. Orchid Oasis because that's one of the colours in the papers. This one I used um, Balmy Blue. And this is the one I'm going to put over the top with the die. So maybe... I'm not sure if that's going to be the best one. Let's bring our emboss, cut emboss machine in and we will cut our window out and do our embossing and then we can work out the paper. And we might stamp a couple of images as well. There we go. move that up and we shall cut our window out so I'm going to put it up I'm going to put it up a little bit higher than last time this one I've left about all well, the width of my fat pumps <laughs> um, so I'm going to put it up a little bit higher and I've got it pretty even on either side Oh, and of course that just moved, didn't it? Good on me. <laughs> Let me try that again. I wonder if I should tape it down. Just because, you know, I'm stupid and it moves. There we go. So that comes out of the middle and that's always handy to stamp on so we'll pull this off always get the extra bits out of your die because when you go to use them again you don't want them in there okay I had a bit of a clean up on my desk today and um, I don't want to have all these little bits floating everywhere again <laughs> so let's bring my little bucket of scraps into view which is not probably my rubbish bucket it's not probably the nicest thing to have in view but you know okay I think it's a little tiny one I want to get these out before I emboss it 
think that's pretty good. Get rid of my scraps. Okay. Now it's a 3D embossing fold, I guess. So I'll get rid of those two plates. And I'll grab my grey plate, the number four plate. So when you're using a 3D embossing folder, you just need plate number one and plate number four. Okay. Oh, now what have I gone and done there? Oh, good, it came off. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pop that in my embossing folder and close it up. Place it down with the spine first. It's best to put the, the fold, the crease of your embossing folder through first. Um, you can get away with doing it sideways sometimes, but... On the whole, it's best to put the, the spine of the embossing folder through first. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty too. <laughs> oh, can you see the texture on that? That's just gorgeous. Love it. Okay, so let's... Let's just pop a cut emboss machine back over on the bench. probably need it again you know but for the moment I don't okay so there's our sample card and here's our now I'm just going to pop my embossing folder away <coughs> now this is where I'm not sure this is where you have to just be a little bit flexible to work out where you want to put your window because the window is not as big as the other window in the suite let me find that window it showcases more of the, of the scenery if i can get it off the thing you see, this would showcase more of the scene, which is actually better. And I've just realised something. You can... No, you can't. I thought you could get two windows out of one piece of DSP, but you can't. So that is actually a better size window. But I just thought I'd have a play with a different window. Just to see what we could come up with. But I don't believe... I don't think that's the right piece of paper for the, what I'm trying to do. So this is where you just have to play a little bit. And now that I've got my... <clears throat> see, that would work. So that one would work. This one probably wouldn't. No. So because I've made my window, oh that's the same as that, because I've made my window smaller, I have to be selective in the paper that I'm using. So that one's not going to work. But it would work with the standard die that comes with the paper. I'm thinking this one I've put over here is going to be the one. Isn't it funny how the first one I made, I just pulled a piece out and it worked straight away. And now I've got to be... Is that the one I used? Yes. No, it's not. It's similar. Well, that one would look nice too. Okay, so that's a possibility. Let's look at all our options. That one would work as well. <coughs> one would work but see I'd have to waste a lot I'd have to use the center whereas this one I can go over to the side and use the side which I think is less damage <laughs> on the paper but that one would work 
that's the one I used for this card okay I think we've sort of come to a bit of a decision we narrowed it down a bit okay let's have a look so it's going to be out of this one I can I can see that I'm going to need more of this paper <laughs> I think everybody, I think this paper probably will sell out because it's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm thinking. You know what, I think I like this one the best. Yes. <clears throat> so, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this piece of paper and I can go right over to the edge and get sort of minimal wastage. I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to mark where I want it. So I don't actually have to do all of it. Okay, so let's bring a paper trimmer in. And I'm going to cut it at 9.5. Yes, that's right, because that's what that's cut at. So 9.5. So you could use that on another card. And I'm going to cut it here. So that's at 2.5 centimetres, pretty much. And then... I mean, I could put all of that behind it. It wouldn't really matter. But I don't need to. And I could use... What's the back? Oh, the back's pretty brown. Let's just use all of it. I wouldn't, I'm not screaming to use any of that on something. So I'm going to do this. Lay this straight on top. Well, actually, not. A, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that... Because I want to put this up. Or maybe I won't. This one I raised. I raised the white piece um, with dimensionals. Maybe I'll attach this flat. Yes, I think I will attach it flat today, this one. Let's do that. Now, where's my... There it is. My silicon mat. <coughs> so... So this piece measures 9.5 centimetres by 13.9. So I've just made my piece of designer series paper 9.5 centimetres, the same width, and I have cut it down shorter so I get scenery of the sky as well. So just get my glue, get rid of that blobby bit. I mm, don't think I need the glue right down there. But that's okay. Not at the moment anyway. And I'm just going to put some little dots on these circles. Just to make them stick when I turn my cardstock over. So it's a beautiful suite. And as I said, it will be available from Tuesday, the 7th of November, in the online exclusive section. Oops. Go on, stick down. Look fragile. But that's okay. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Doesn't like it when you pull it up. Oh, that's broken. That's no good. Let's let's just fix that up by sticking a dob of glue there and a dob of glue there and just line it back up so it's going okay. I'll just hold that down for the moment. And see how it makes a pretty window with the spiral die? just something nice to to play around with and think oh, okay I'll do that and so I am going to put this flat down onto my matting piece 
So let's do that. So it's a little bit short, but of the paper, but it doesn't matter because you don't see that. Okay, get my matting piece. checking I'm still recording <laughs> I sometimes bump my mouse and that can do terrible things <laughs> and I just don't want terrible things to happen okay okay how, how cool is that super easy card we'll get a card base in and we'll just attach that straight down so our designer series paper that it just they just keep blowing me away with the how beautiful it is all the stuff in the holiday catalog so beautiful um, and this pack is so beautiful as well that's coming um, that the, the paper does all the work you don't have to do a lot of stamping which is kind of good you know if you like stamping or well, you can whoops put my pencil away okay so that's that and I am going to now get some scrap oh and that's right I want to see that was from the top that was from the sky you could put that inside that's not the right measurement okay I don't want to cut into that I think I trimmed this up with a little bit of paper. I lied. I didn't trim it up with paper. <laughs> okay. So there are some really cool card designs that you can use um, for specifically for six by six paper. And sometimes it's really good. I'm just looking. No, I can't really use that. Oh, I think I'll be stamping inside my card for this one. Um, like you can cut your six by let me grab one there are some card designs that you can cut your six by six just a little bit off and cut your six by six into three strips and make some really cool cards with, and you use the whole piece of paper so I might do one of them um, one of those cards to show you that so let's grab our stamp set so I've done the um, basket and the watering can on that one I even played with gates and I don't know whether the gates would look any good. I'm not sure. The gates, I'm not sure about. I've got to think about them. So let's... What have we got? A water can basket. We've got a pair of boots, gum boots. And... Maybe I could do the basket and the birds this time. So here's the basket. And the birds are here. Get those out. Gotta get a little ziplock bag for my bits yet. Okay, there's my water bottle. And I've got to get my um lens. Grab those. have them ready <coughs> okay now we might just use these two patches here they might work okay. so get my stamp and pierce mat it's just such a beautiful suite I love it make sure that's got ink all over it Pretty sure it has. Oh yes, <laughs> I was wearing for nothing. And I've got my chamois. And I'll pop that back in. And the birds. Now use the birds on this one. Yep, that looks good. I'll get rid of that. 
before I get into trouble. <laughs> Pop our birds back in one by one. I'm using starting. I put them on the base here, and once I've used them, so one by one, I'm using. I'm starting to use all the stamps in the um, collection. So let's bring those down and let's open up. Uh, let's do our basket. So I used crumb cake for my basket so I might do that again because that looked quite nice and I'll put this back in here so we can see colours and stuff so I'm just gonna it's not it's not hard to colour there's not a lot that you need to colour um, so I'll try and go quickly had funny weather on the weekend they predicted rain but Saturday there's been no sign of rain so I don't know where they saw, thought the rain was coming from <laughs> okay and now I'm going to use old olive for the leaves so dark old olive I'll put a little splash of dark old olive on all the leaves we need really because then I'll go over it with the light old olive there we go oops I went outside the line there probably doesn't really matter because we're going to die cut it but if it did bother you, you get your colour lifter out and you just lift the colour off. Easy peasy. Okay, so I used Orchid Oasis there. So I'm going to do some of my flowers in Orchid Oasis. I'm not going to worry about blending them because they're too small to worry about that. That I think is part of the basket, so let me, before I get carried away, like I think that's the rim of the basket, I'm going to just do that in light crumb cake. Yep. Now, somehow I've got sticky on my paper and I don't know how I did that. Okay. <coughs> oh, I'm on a few more orchid oasis. I'll just recall. Look, I'll do this one here. And you know what? The other one I'm just going to do in Daffodil Delight. So just the purple and the yellow. Yeah, it's just it's down here. That's where it is. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit cute. Now, what colour should I do my birdie? Is there a die for the birds? Oh yes, here it is. So that's the basket, that's the birds. So what colour will I do my birds? Don't need those ones out anymore. I don't know. What sort of birds are they? Should I do them smoky slate? I might. I don't know what bird, sort of birds they are, so I'm just going with it. And now this is dark, smoky slate, and there's not a lot of detail on the birds, so we don't really have to stress too much. Okay. Let's blend that with the dark in. So yeah, this isn't the only suite that will be in the online exclusives offering that will go live on Tuesday the 7th. 
there are other things we do have a flyer it only shows this stamp set and another one um fluffiest friends i think it's called and let's see if i can find the flyer yes so there's and there's this sweet the meandering meadow and then there's fluffiest friends bundle so it's a cute little stamp set and dies i don't know if you can see that let me hold it up and you see those cute little characters and see this die is another one that could be used for a window um and there's also three color glimmer specialty paper six sheets pretty peacock petal pink and highland heather they forgot to put a photo on this but that's not all there will be more offerings so it's good to go and have a little look have a little sneaky peek okay let's move these out of the way and bring our cutting cut emboss machine back in so they are doing more online exclusives um, because they can't it gives them the opportunity to bring out more new products without having to refresh the catalogs as often so that's the um the reason they'll still do catalogs but there'll be more online as well so let's just line that up line our little birdies up here's the die there we go i'm just gonna run that through I haven't got my little friend in here with me today she um when it's the weekend she likes being between da dad her dad and I <laughs> my husband <laughs> and I so she's sort of um now look, I found a little dish on my tidy up. I'm going to put those dies in there so I don't lose them. Um, yeah, she likes to be amongst both of us. But when it's just me at home, she's always in my craft room on my on her, on her um, pillow or her bed. Look, just stop it, will you? Okay, so I'm going to put those, but those basket of flowers there. And I might put my little... I will put these up on dimensionals and put my little birds like that. How cute! It really is quite cute. Now let's add a few little um, details. I might do a. This dragonfly seems to be flying away, so let's use him. Now my little detail die is broken there, so I'm going to put my dragonfly there to fix it up and what I might do a bird going this way um will I put it up there will I put it yeah I think I'll put it up here there we go so that's I'm gonna put in two of these on because I don't think you need any more Don't want to pop them off. I put it back in the plastic sleeve because I don't want to lose any. Call me Scrooge. <laughs> but that's me. Now I think I could use big, big dimensionals here for my, my basket. I'm going to do a sentiment. I'm going to put that one down a bit further. And what do the birds need? Can a big dimensional cover the birds? Will that work? It will. And I think I'll put a little one on as well. Okay. So put 
them up like that. And <clears throat> I just need to get my box of um, die cuts. Now, let's just. This one I've used just a note from um, Go To Greetings, one of my all time faves. And it's really quite quite charming I love it um, so this is my little box of sentiment a bit of summer stamped pre-stamped that I didn't use I might get this one out and should we make it a happy birthday a thinking of you what should we make it a thank you <coughs> thinking of you <clears throat> if it's going to fit I guess that will fit and I shall grab Orchid Oasis I'll move that aside and I need a bigger block Now I am going to grab <coughs> a bit of paper, scrap paper, just to make sure it's going to stamp nicely for me. Okay, I think I've got to tip it down a little bit. Let's clean it off. I must have mounted this one a little bit crooked. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Bring it down so I don't bring my head in and I've got to tip it this way. I'm not really happy with that. <laughs> see, that's what happens. I throw it back in and then I'll get another one out. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Shall clean this. Okay, I've gone up over the half an hour, so I am going to put that up on um, dimensionals as well. So I shall grab. Three on these. This is the stylish shape dies. It's the other thing. Go to greetings and my stylish shape dies are my all time faves. So. And I'm going to put that down there. Now, if you wanted to, you could get your Winker Stella pen and you could just put a bit of Winker Stella on your flowers. Sorry, my head came in. How nice. I might do this on my other one too. Just got to be careful. If you need to squeeze your Winker Stella pen, don't squeeze it over your project. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, so there's our card for today. So it's using the beautiful meandering meadow suite that's available from Tuesday the 7th. I decided to go with a different window from the suite collection and now I can't pick that die up. There we go. I just got, decided to go with this die to make the window and that was from the Hello Irresistible or the Irresistible Blooms suite. Also an online exclusive. Um, and what else did I use? I used the beautiful... 
uh, where is this? Where have I put it? Here it is. <laughs> the Distress Tile 3D Embossing Folder from the Mini Catalog. So, how gorgeous is, are these two cards? They're both gorgeous. I hope you like them. So, I've got a class on Thursday this week. If anybody's local and would like to come, I do need to know by Wednesday because that's when I will be preparing the, the card kits. So it's using the One Horse Open Sleigh Paper. It's six cards. Um, so once again, I'm letting the paper do all the work. Six cards for $30. Everything's provided and cut up for you. So if you're local to me on the Central Coast and would like to come along to that class, please let me know by Wednesday so I can cut and prepare your kit for you. And yeah, there's our card for today. Let's go back to my face. There we go. So I hope you like those. Let's let's work out. Let's work this out. Let's just work out how that's going to work. There we go. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> close enough anyway so i hope you enjoyed that using the meandering meadow suite that's available from tuesday the 7th hope you all have a great week and i will see you on friday for card and a cuppa bye